Chapter 2, Sheikh Ahmad's Journeys All over the world, people were expecting a new manifestation of God to come to earth. Not only Muslims, but Christians, Buddhists, Jews, Hindus, and Zoroastrians were also waiting. The founders of their religions had told them to watch and not miss the return of the Holy Spirit of God, but they did not know exactly how it would happen or where. In America, a group of people waited all night on the mountain expecting the Holy One to come down out of the sky. But Sheikh Ahmad knew from the prophecies in the holy books that the Promised One would appear in Persia. Not only that, he knew there would be two Promised Ones, and they would appear very quickly, one after the other. First of all, Sheikh Ahmad went to Iraq, where the Prophet Muhammad and many saints are buried. Everywhere he went, he explained how the words of God have an inner and spiritual meaning. The inner meetings, he said, were mysteries that had not been properly understood before. One of the things Sheikh Ahmad told people was that it is our souls, not our bodies, that go to heaven when we die. They did not know this before, and some people became upset because they wanted to hold on to their old ideas and thought it was wrong to listen to anything new. But other flocked to hear Sheikh Ahmad and believed what he said. After some time, Sheikh Ahmad left Iraq and went to Persia. He arrived in Shiraz and told the people who lived there how wonderful their town was, especially the mosque where he was speaking to them. The people were surprised. They loved their town, but why was Sheikh Ahmad praising the mosque so much? Old men raised their eyebrows in wonder, and learned priests admitted that Sheikh Ahmad seemed to know far more than he did. Wonder not, he told them, for before long the secret of my words will be made clear to you. Some of you will live to see the glory of a day which the prophets of old have longed to witness. But at a time he did not tell them everything he knew. He kept a secret in his heart until he found someone who was able to understand. He left Shiraz and traveled to Yazd, where he stayed for many years and wrote nearly a hundred books. He explained the meaning of the teachings of Muhammad and helped people understand the prophecies. He became so famous that even the king of Persia wrote asking him questions. Sheikh Ahmad wrote such good answers that the king was impressed and invited him to visit him in his palace in Tehran. Sheikh Ahmad accepted the king's invitation and planned to go and visit him one day. But he was growing old and no longer had energy for all this traveling around. He decided it was time to find a young disciple who could continue his work after him, someone who understood as much as he did.